Measles is back in the news. Why is the disease making a comeback? Ryan, the disease never totally went away, but it's making a particular comeback this year, probably because people are not getting properly immunized. Either they're not getting the vaccination at all, as they're supposed to, at 12 months to 15 months, then again at age four to six, or they're getting improper dosage. They, they're waiting too long between intervals. And I spoke to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, and the vaccination rate in the United States has been around 90%, pretty good for years. But I think what's happening is the world is getting smaller. People are traveling to other parts of the world where there are outbreaks. The Philippines right now has 15, thousand cases and about 13 people have come back to the United States with measles and the majority of them are kids under the age of two who were not vaccinated. Are there special concerns when a child that young gets measles? Yes, about 40 percent of kids under the age of five end up in the hospital for treatment and uh, this is this is really such a tragedy when a kid not only can get sick but dies from this disease which is utterly preventable with a vaccine that's been around for years and um, I think people sometimes are afraid of getting vaccine. They just they don't want maybe to risk some kind of side effect. But the CDC feels strongly that the benefits of this vaccine strongly outweigh the risks. Are there special concerns with the outbreaks in New York and California? Well, I think the thought is that what's happening is that because for about the last 15 years, I think by 2000, measles was officially eliminated in the United States. And that doesn't mean there are no cases, it just means that it's not around enough in the United States to really have a reservoir here. And so any cases, any outbreaks that happen here in pockets of the United States are places where people aren't vaccinated and where it's being brought in from travelers. So in, in California, they have about half of the cases there, and New York City has about a quarter of the cases. I think what's happening is people are going outside the United States States, they're getting the disease because they're not adequately vaccinated. They come back and they give it to somebody else. Now, a real shame and real tragedy, more than a shame, is when there's a kid who can't get it, who's under the age of 12 months old, uh, who's at home and hasn't gotten the first shot, is not immune, and somebody comes in and they infect him. So it's not just you and your family, it's the other kids who you're exposing because this is a highly contagious disease. I mean, you know, it can spread like wildfire. Now, something I learned that I didn't realize before is that if you're going abroad, the CDC says that even if you're under the age of 12 months, you can still get vaccinated. They say from six months to 11 months, you can consider getting a vaccine and that can protect you. So that's something that I didn't realize. So if you're about to go abroad, especially to an area like the Philippines, certain places in China, Africa, even throughout Europe, where there are outbreaks of measles, you can consider getting a vaccine for your child, even if the age of the child is under the typical age where vaccination starts, which is 12 months. Helpful advice. Thank you, Dr. LaPook.